afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swishing and Reviewing IBM. This is a really nice follow through here today. Uh, I'm laughing at myself here because I called this very aggressively into the open this morning and then it just got tired of waiting for it to go and killed it. Small profit, but <laughs> it's like, I mean, actually, I'm seriously laughing at myself here now. So this was, this was the play yesterday which I'll go over later, but this is hilarious. So I call this trade here. Let's just do the whole thing. This is so hilarious. So this is like a two and a half dollar move from where I called it, if you had time to be in it all day. <laughs> Almost three. Again, like to focus on the morning, it's quarter two. Anything can happen today, but the market fell, so drag this down. But really, it was the earnings report from yesterday. Uh, and it was a good short yesterday. Waiting for the steep sell-off I discussed this in the morning. I said, wait for the straight selling. Looks like it's happening now. So under when it broke, 132, 131. Um, the straight selling's coming in. You have the market selling. And you have IBM selling. And what, this is a nice call this morning. I just really completely didn't even want to stick with it you know sometimes it happens it was jerky and herky and jerky and usually we do the first day of the initial gap but i did like this as the best thing to do as a day trade today it just took too long to go so congratulations to the people that held it congratulations to the people that did the put ibm definitely is the big play this week uh really yesterday was the better of the days i think but if you had the stomach to sit through if you had time today to stay with this and do it uh, it, it worked. It went. And at quarter of two here, this will not let up at all today. It looks like it's even going to break 130. So hopefully someone is still in it. Good luck, anybody that is. If you're in the option, I call the put in it or also the day train. We'll see what happens with IBM once it breaks 130 because it could really collapse off a planet. Good luck, everyone.